Hey guys, welcome back. So let's keep it going. Okay, we're going to talk about today uh, is five workouts to uh, five additional workouts to help you run a sub 18 minute 5K. Okay, I've done sub 20 and sub 19 already in the description down below. We're going to go all the way down to the sub 15 minute. Okay, each video is going to be a new milestone per minute. And I have this is part two, so look for part one if you want five more workouts to help you achieve this milestone or any other milestone. They're all in the description down below, as well as fully detailed training programs. It's uh, for these milestones as well. So you have a lot of 5K training content down below, okay? So check it out. Watch them in their entirety from beginning to end if, end if you if you really want to understand the method behind the madness and the science and, and the progression and so on and so forth so that you're in a position to make good decisions on a regular basis, okay? Um, my goal is to help as many people as I possibly can. So um, if you haven't subscribed yet and you want good running content, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. It really helps other people know that the channel um, is, uh, you know, it exists. And if you want to continue watching videos, and I've got 150 plus, if you want good training details, hit that notification as well so you don't miss when the new videos come out. So, so I appreciate your support either way. Um, let's get to it. Okay, let's get to the details here. And again, this is the same five, uh, these five workouts are the same thing, are the same workouts from sub 20 down to sub 15. You're just going to see the progression in times, okay? So you know what, what it takes to get from one milestone to the next, all right? Um, I may repeat my, I may repeat that in a lot of these videos, but I want to make sure anybody new understands that. So, and then the, the other series is five different workouts. So you're going to have at least 10 to 15 workouts just for your 5K uh, in this series. So, Workout one is repeat 400 meters, okay? This is a staple workout that I give to athletes in the beginning of the season, particularly cross country. And we do it regularly uh, somewhat. It's good rhythm work um, without having to do crazy over distance and stuff. But it gives you an idea of, you know, especially early, like if it's cross country, it gives you an idea of who did the work over the summer, um, who did the work in the preseason or whatnot, and uh, you know, how, how fit people are. And again, you know, th there's, there's two ways to do it, okay? Okay. Um, when I said when I'm younger athletes, and you know, just think high school, I generally start them at eight reps, okay, with a 45 second recovery. This is a workout with a short recovery, all right, and it's a good intense kind of aerobic workout, all right, and um, so eight reps, building up to 12 of them at the high school level, 45 second recovery. You may have the odd athlete who can handle 30 seconds recovery, but that's your more fit, high level, experienced athletes. For anybody that's older than that, you know, whether you're college or post college. I have folks start in generally 10 or 12 reps um, and I'm building up to 16 reps uh, with a 45 second recovery, but in some situations progressing down to 30. For your older, more fit athletes, your higher level athletes, I would, I, would, I would be working towards a 30 second recovery. It's a really, really good simulation of 5K fitness, okay? And again, um, new athletes, you have to treat a little bit differently. So like I said in other videos, if you have somebody who's a sophomore in high school, but it's their first year running, I would treat them as if they were freshmen in terms of training. They may be a year older than freshmen, but in terms of training, they're a year behind. So treating those situations appropriately is very important to their progression too. Okay, And it doesn't really, the same applies to anywhere else as well. Uh, it's important to gradually progress the athletes. Okay, So that's workout one, 400 meter efforts with a short recovery building from eight to 16 reps, Okay, depending on the age of the athletes. Workout two is Four times a thousand and four hundred. What I mean by that is a thousand, four hundred, thousand, four hundred, thousand, four hundred, thousand, four hundred. You do a four of each, but it's consecutive. But a um, thousand meter efforts are a five k pace, goal five k pace. Okay, which in this situation, um, oh, by the way, the eight, the four hundred meter efforts. Sorry about this. Sorry, the four hundred meter efforts should be one twenty five to one twenty six for sub eighteen, or eighty five to eighty six seconds per rep. Okay, my fault for not mentioning that. Okay, um, the 5K workout, uh, 5K pace here should be 335 to 336, okay, which is 18 flat to sub seven, to uh, 1755, okay. And then after each thousand meter effort, you take a 200 meter jog recovery, and then you do your 400s in 117 to 118, 77 or 78 seconds. After the 400, you take a 200 meter jog as well, and then you're doing four of each consecutively, okay. Um, by the end, you'll have about 5,600 meters of work. And this is a great um, mid-season workout to kind of help incorporate different paces and teach you kind of how to accelerate and, 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 and maintain the pace and so on. You're building towards the point where you can handle more work at a goal pace or the, you know, the, the races are kind of going to be backing up the training as well, um, whether it be a race or a time trial. So again, the thousands are in 
335 to 336, and the 400 are in 77 to 78 seconds. Just a 200 meter jog recovery after each rep. Okay, um, this, this is a minimum of three sets, but ideally you want to get to four sets. Um, workout three is two sets of four times a thousand. Okay, yes, it's 8,000 meters of workout. It's an over distance workout, but it's a good mid season transition workout. And I've said this before. I generally like to do a lot of, you know, kind of threshold and hills and 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 uh, tempo and things like that early on, and then phase it into some threshold and race pace in the middle of the season, and then towards more intense stuff towards the latter part of the season. So then athletes aren't doing too much of a lot of stuff. I, I generally do four to six week blocks. Okay, that way folks are kind of progressing when they need to be progressing and running their best when it counts the most. And I understand in some situations. There you have to get qualifiers to make the next race and so on. That's why I'm giving you options as well. So you have workouts that kind of help you do that if you're a little behind it and, and help workouts like this to help you transition into more intense stuff too. So again, this is two sets of four times a thousand. The first set is at threshold pace, okay? Which in this situation is 350 to 351 per rep with a one minute recovery. Okay. After the fourth rep, you take a six to eight minute active recovery. Just stay loose, do a little bit of walking, a little bit of jogging, um, take some, take a little bit of fluids, and then you do four times a thousand at goal five k pace, which again is three thirty five to three thirty six with a two minute recovery. Okay. And the goal five k pace differential to the tr threshold pace is fifteen second differential between the two. So the goal five k pace is fifteen seconds faster per rep than the threshold pace is. Okay. Um, so now you're doing half of the threshold, half of it at goal 5K pace. And then that's a really, really good workout, a transitional workout for the midseason. Okay? Over distance, yes, but a really, really, really good workout. Um, and uh, the next workout is 1,200 meter efforts. Okay, Two options. Option one is four times 1,200 meters with a three minute recovery at your equivalent 3K pace, which is 408 to 409 in this situation. Okay, and then, Or the other workout is or you build towards five times 1200 meter efforts at 5K pace with a two minute recovery. And in this situation is 419 to 420 per rep. Okay, so four times 1200 at 3K pace, rest three, or five times 1200 at 5K pace, rest two. Some of your athletes might need one, some of your athletes might need the other. It really, it really it's, it's up to you to know um, who needs what. You know your athletes better than anybody else. So, or yourself. Okay, and last but not least is you run a 3K simulation at your goal 5K pace about 10 days out from your goal race to see, okay, you got to know what it feels like to be a 5K, your goal 5K pace through 3K. And it'll tell you um, whether you're ready for that 5K. So in this situation, you're looking to run 1043 to 1045 for the 3K. And then you take an 8 to 10 minute active recovery, the same thing. You do a little bit of walking, a little bit of running, uh, a little bit of jogging, get your fluids and you stay loose. And then you're going to run 5 times 300 meters with a 100 meter jog recovery in 63 down to 59 seconds, which is 3K down to mile pace, equivalent 3K down to mile pace for a sub 18 minute 5K. So again, 3K at goal 5K pace, rest eight to 10 minutes, and then you do five times 300 from 3K down to mile pace, okay? So not only will you know what it feels like to be there at 3K at your goal pace, but you'll know what it feels like to either maintain the pace or accelerate after that point, So that, which is an important component to uh, finish off your training. So now, let's go over here. I'm going to show you how it's all written out on the whiteboard. So now you can write them down if you want. Okay. Um, now we have a, you know, I wanted to go through this so that you have a better understanding of when I explain stuff. Okay, which is important. I want you to know what I'm talking about. But now you can see it and say, okay, this is what he meant, and so on. So let's go. Workout one, repeat 400s with a 45 second down to four, 30 seconds recovery. Okay, at 125 to 126 which is 5K pace or the goal 5K pace, and you're building from eight to 16 reps. Okay, this is a repeatable workout, okay? Um, two, and the workout two, 1,400, 1,400, 1,400, 1,400, which is 5,600 meters of total running. You take a 200 meter jog after each recovery. The thousands are at goal 5K pace, which is 335 to 336. The two, uh, 400 meter efforts are at goal mile pace, 77 to 78 seconds per rep, okay? pace changing workout teaches you how to surge how to pick back surge go back in the pace um, almost simulates a fart leg workout okay um, and, and it does in a lot of situations and um, it's one of the reasons why the Kenyans are so successful because they incorporate so much fart leg training into their races as well and, it, and this is a workout that you, you know you can accelerate and come back and accelerate and come back and you could take a lot of kicks away from the kickers 
So just keep that in mind too. It's a really good workout. Okay. Workout three is two sets of four times a thousand. First set is a threshold pace with that one minute recovery at 350 to 351. Take the six to eight minute active recovery. And then you do the second set at 5K pace with a two minute recovery at 335 to 336. Okay. Which is 15 seconds faster per mile than your threshold pace. Okay. Or per rep, per thousand meter rep. That's workout three. Workout four, 1200 meter efforts. Four times a 1200, rest three at 3K pace, which is 408 to 409, or five times 1200 at uh, th- a 5K pace with a two minute recovery, 419 to 420. And last but not least, you run your 3K at your goal 5K pace, okay, which is 1043 to 1045, that ballpark, eight to 10 minute active recovery, keep that heart rate up. And then you run five times 300 meter effort on the back end with a 100 meter jog recovery, nice and easy. At 63 down to 59, you progress downwards from that 3K down to mile pace. So it's a nice progression. And uh, again, shows you how to to, uh, to accelerate on the back end when you're already fatigued from running 3K at 5K pace. So that's the goal. Okay. So those are your five workouts. Let me know what you think. Give me your feedback in the comments down below. The next video, we're going to do five workouts for sub 17. Okay. We're going to keep progressing down to sub 15. So uh, if you enjoyed this, please hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And, uh, you know, let me know if there's anything I can do or any type of video that I haven't done that you'd like for me to do and put them in the comments. And let me know if you subscribe, please, in the comments so I can personally thank you. I appreciate your support. Like I said in other videos, I'm trying to get over 1,000 subscribers and I'm approaching 700. So your help is really, really appreciated. So your support. So uh, be safe, everybody, and train hard. Have a great season. Hopefully you have some good races and I will see you on the other side.